Hey peoples, Karina here, coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. And uh, yeah, I'm making this video March 31st, 2021. Sure in the hell is, sure in the hell is. And um, hopefully it'll upload tonight, but if it don't, it should upload at some point because I tried to upload a couple other videos that somehow I feel they didn't upload because maybe it wasn't meant to share. Okay, as I got little stalkers that's trying to stop certain little shit from coming to me. So it's like, even though you know you're not supposed to be like overshare, or well, I know I'm not supposed to overshare, okay? Right now is the time that whatever is coming, I'm supposed to just be like incognito about that shit right now. So anyway, yeah. Let me just, like, not even make mention of certain shit. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. That's all that I'm going to say. And I got my coffee here because I'm chillaxing. And, uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get off into this video. <sighs> Sometimes... People's words do not hold weight when you know that there is nothing that they have been through and actually felt in their life. You ever get a message from somebody and it means something because you know what they feel or what they have felt before they felt that feeling of, and you see the title is below, right? Happiness comes from within. It's two different things. Two different, totally different feelings when people say that phrase. Now, if you're an idiot, and I am going to turn the comments off on this video, by the way, because I don't want no bullshit stories at the bottom of this video. For those of y'all that's listening to this that ain't never been through shit. Had happiness. Lost your happiness. Had to refind it. Through means of changing your circumstances by you putting your foot down saying what is and what is not allowed in your life. Then you do not. Get to tell a person happiness comes from within if everything was handed to you and you've never had to find out who you really were. And I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> when you feel like or you see other people that'll do the same exact thing you do. And they get a different result. It's because they life is totally their their path in life is totally different from yours. And if you ain't never been attacked, if your peace ain't never been attacked, the devil ain't never attacked you in no area of your life. Then let me just tell you. That you ain't got nothing in you that drives you. And you're just here. You're just here. Maybe you. Chose not to have certain shit happen to you. Maybe. God knows you wouldn't even be strong enough. Like you're so weak. If you had one disappointment in life. You'd probably try to go take your life. You know what I'm saying? It's many reasons. That some people can go through life. With no issues. And feel that it is okay. To encourage other people. When you don't know what that's like. To ever have not one fucking damp day in your life. <clears throat> now if I sit here and say. Happiness comes from within. And I've told you my struggles. And I've told you the things I done came out of. Then the shit holds weight. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody's advice better than somebody that's been in a situation 
to where they were not happy at a period in their life for a period in time in their life and had to find their happiness like I said there's many reasons why certain people just don't go through certain things one and we don't even go so far out as to say that maybe you cleared all your karma in a past life and you had none you had no lessons to learn when you came here you just came here Yeah, and I'm just speaking that like presumptuously. I'm just saying, you know, maybe that could be the case. Or I'm going to say another reason, too, is possibly that, you know, you you ain't got us. You ain't got a fight spirit up in you like you ain't got nothing in you that ruffles the devil's feathers. So therefore, he's not going to fuck with you because your purpose ain't even big like that. Everybody want to be included and say, I got a purpose. I got a purpose. Um, Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But do you know what it is, though? Or are you just sitting up in la-la land, don't know yourself, trying to encourage other people? And ain't been through shit. Cause that's gonna make some that's gonna make some people mad with you. That is gonna make some people mad with you. You know what I'm saying? Most of the people listening to this right now have had one thing or another happen to them in their life. At some point, they've had dark moments where they never told nobody. Okay? And then you came out of it and then you told people what you went through. So when you say happiness comes from within, they know it's legit facts because they knew that at one point in your life, you were not happy. All right. So one female that I know that I went to school with, it's legit facts. That she grew up in a home with both parents the same way that I did. She was nurtured and cared for as a child. I was nurtured in some aspects, but not in the ways that was beneficial to a higher degree. Not not like that. I mean, parents do the best they can. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes your parents do shit and they don't even know that it's bothersome and then on the other note sometimes parents know full and well what the fuck they're doing to their kids and believe it or don't every parent does not have the best interest out for their child all right i'm I'm just telling you the truth so this woman has been with the her boyfriend that she had since middle school high school and is now married to him okay and out of all the people that be around her she was one of the quote unquote lucky ones according to how other people see it but to me if you've never been through anything and you don't know yourself and like i mean you don't want to wish bad on people but you don't you also don't want to let people think that this is a lollipop gumdrop world that you know nothing is ever going to happen in life and you're never going to have any type of issues you know what i'm saying and people like to say oh well that means i'm blessed so does that mean that people that have actually went through trials and tribulations in their life somehow that means that they're not blessed or does that mean that they're getting their spiritual muscle exercised so that they can be of effect in reaching and helping other people you know what i mean because when you make such big bold um Statements like happiness comes from within, but yet you've never went through anything. That tells me that your happiness comes from 
what is happening. Because I guarantee you, if you've ever had to be in any type of situation where you were neglected, abused, uh, your love taken for granted, uh, people keeping you around just for their gain and purposefully doing shit to keep you single or a parent speaking a curse over your life to keep you from marrying and then you got to go most of your life until that shit get broken off and then people start coming around and you can't trust them and shit and then on top of that you got a divine partner out there that love you just as much as you love them and they try to contact you hmm A lot of times when people get married early and young, a lot of times, a lot of times, it's because they had people who were supportive and allowed them to make their own decisions and didn't stand in the way of what they wanted. And then some of us have actually had people interfere in our life so much that it actually changed the course of our life drastically. The happiness comes from within. Yes, it does. But some people have to work harder to pull it out. Okay? If you know what that is like to have people around you purposefully, purposefully, Hoping you don't make it somewhere. Hoping you don't do this. Hoping you don't do that. Yet they speak an encouragement to you, but you feel like they're being sarcastic. And deep down inside, you just really longed for people to allow you to be you. And you have to separate yourself from those people that don't want you to be you. Even if it's your own damn parent. Because some parents will think that they're doing a service to their children while they're singing on a praise and worship team, looking good while you're doing it too. Yet you holding your children bondage. And you think God's going to like look at that and bless you because you're singing and because you're, 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 you're seemingly supportive when you really have chains around your children's necks in the spirit or you got their hands tied in the spirit I got one question how do you call yourself healed when you take pride in hurting others you know as a parent of an adult child I made this known to my son a while back. I told him. When he was asking me all kind of questions. And I think this is when he was a teen. He was probably like 15 when I told him this. He was asking me all type of questions about life. And then he was telling me. Um, what else was he telling me? He was like, man, mama, when I get married, I'm always put you first. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I say, um, baby, that's the wrong concept. When you get married, your wife come first. 